everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a full review of Santal Galore by Arige Ladore. I only have a tiny little bit left in my sample. Um, I would say that you have enough for one solid good wearing with the generous sprays and maybe half kind of like that would that would be gone if I applied it again today. So I would say two days wearing, really, two wearings for this, um, for, for the sample size that you get. Um, and yeah, Santal Glow by Arige Ladore. This is the brand new collection. I've got the note list here. I'll read you the notes first. Top notes of Malaysian Musang King Dorian, which is a, a fruit. I never smelled Dorian, uh, so I can't comment on what that smells like. Uh, or how the essence of that is used in perfumery, I don't know. Um, Indonesian Sandalwood Co Absolute. Turkish Rose Water in the mid with Rose Accord from 1925. Jasmine, Osmanthus and Ancient Indonesian Sandalwood Root Smoke. And the base notes, Deer Musk, Pod Tincture, Oak Moss, Tonka Bean, um, cassia, Accord, Clove, and Old Mysore Sandwood Absolute. I'm not going to spray this one on skin today because I want to savour the little bit that I have left. <laughs> so I'm going to smell it like this. But for this, when I first apply it, um, it's quite a beautiful opening. You Obviously you get sandalwood. I think it's quite prominent. You get this beautiful rich sandalwood. And it's quite floral in the opening. Uh, the biggest flaw I get is the rosiness. You definitely perceive rose. And it does feel a little bit more like um, what you think of as rose water rather than like a dark absolute. It's a light, kind of almost slightly fresh rose coming through in this on my skin. And it's, it's a very pretty rose. So like I say, a fresh, bright, rose slightly kind of like like I would say imagine rose water um, beautiful rosy mixed with this beautiful rich um, swirling sand with the musk I can perceive straight away immediately and um, so that's kind of the main focus in the opening is this harmony of sandalwood uh, floral notes the rose being the more dominant than the jasmine or osmanthus uh, mixed with this obvious musky kind of envelope quality of this uh, kind of almost kind of dry muskiness. It's got a, a dryness to it um, and as well as a fluidity which is hard to explain. The muskiness is hard to describe. The musk almost smells dry and wet at the same time. <laughs> it's this envelope of something like you might imagine silver coloured silk but it's watery and fluid at the same time as being quite dry so when you smell it you get this kind of dry kind of feeling at the same time as being fluid and silk like it's quite difficult to describe the the, the, the scent of the muskiness in this and um but the musk feels like a an obvious note to me through through the whole of the fragrance as it starts to dry down um, the rosiness tones down. I think you get a little bit more of the jasmine through the mid, which helps with this kind of creaminess that comes through. And like I say, the rose tones down, maybe a little bit more of the jasmine. And what feels to me as a main kind of combination, just being sandalwood and the musk um, f coming through into the, into the mid and into the dry down. But I think it's a lovely, well-crafted, um, high quality fragrance that is obvious when you smell it that the materials are fantastic and um, it's a rich sandalwood fragrance backed up by musk and florals essentially as it dries down it does become more familiar to other Arige Ladore fragrances I've smelled in the deep dry down in the sense that I get a combination of sandalwood musk and tonka and that combination I have smelled before um, I think in from memory, I uh, recall uh, s relatable to like the very, very tail end dry down of Walimar, fragrances like that. I think that's the one I'm thinking of um, that uses a combination of, again, sandalwood musk and tonka bean. It creates a very sensual, even kind of mix. It's not too sweet. The tonka bean is subtle, but it's it infuses this soft sweetness 
like I say, not overly sweet, but a hint of it that just uh, relieves that dryness of the musk. And so you get this slightly sweet, musky, woody combination um, that tails you into the dry down and fades away. And that part is, is, is like a sensual kind of skin scent. It's intimate smelling. It's close to the skin. It's like an aura of uh, sensual kind of muskiness. Um, but yeah, that seems to be like a, maybe a little bit of a signature DNA of Russian Adam is this kind of combo of sandalwood musk and, and tonka bean. And that's what I get in the deep dry down of this. In terms of performance, um, I found it sits kind of closer to the skin on me. On my hand particularly, when I'm judging it off my hand, within kind of 30 to 40 minutes, I it's literally, you have to be nose to hand to smell it. It's It doesn't seem to, it sits very, very close. However, um, I also sprayed it around my neck and collar area of my top. That way, I could smell it um, a lot more easily um, within the first kind of three, four hours. If I go outside and there was a bit of a breeze when I took Teddy out, um, I could uh, get a soft kind of envelope around me and I could smell it. So although the projection feels soft, I think when you're in the breeze and it's around your neck, it, it does kind of lift up with the breeze and you get kind of a bubble of it around yourself, but I don't think it pushes out very far, judging by you know how close I have to be to my hand. It's, it's an intimate, personal kind of fragrance. I don't think people are gonna smell you from, you know, too far away, like with some Rouge Lodore fragrances that feel quite heavy, this one is uh, closer to the skin. But the performance in terms of longevity, I would say at around uh, six hours, it's coming uh, very, very close and intimate, and it carries on that way, you know, kind of like that. It carries on 11, 12 hours later on my hand. Uh, I could not smell it at about the 11 hour mark. However, when I got up in the morning the next day, when I got out of bed, um, it was still around my neck. I could actually perceive it somehow um, moving out of bed, which is funny because, like I say, I couldn't smell it on my hand after 11 hours, but like 20 hours later on my neck, I got a vibe of it. So a little bit difficult to judge the performance in terms of longevity on how you're going to perceive it, but in general, it could be anywhere between 6 to 20 hours, <laughs> um, 12 hours, uh, a little bit difficult to say. On clothing, um, it lasts a couple of days. I mean, it's, it's going to stick around on your clothes. So for me, the performance is um, good in longevity, but close on projection and sillage. I would say this fragrance is unisex. I don't think it has a gender to it. I think it's beautifully crafted. It smells elegant. It's um, it smells more dressed up to me um, rather than just lounging around in jeans and a t-shirt. It's it's a, it has a sophistication to it, a little bit more elegance to it. Uh, so for me, slightly more formal or dressed up, and daytime or evening for autumn, uh, maybe spring, autumn, winter. But I wouldn't wear it in the summer personally. Um, but spring, autumn, winter, daytime evening, dressed up, uh, relatively versatile. Obviously for this you have to like sandalwood, that's prerequisite as by the name, <laughs> and you have to like deer musk. Um, musk, sandalwood, main parts with uh, a floral heart of rose and jasmine, leading into a base you will have smelled uh, similar from a Riche Lodore, combining the tonka musk and sandalwood, which is this kind of creamy, um, almost lotion-like um, kind of dry down. And there is a part in the mid that goes a little bit makeup-y on my skin. It has a, a hint of a powderiness about it, a dusty kind of quality, a nuance of something a little bit dusty, powdery, something that you might relate to makeup, going into something that reminds you more of like a creamy lotion. So it has different kind of nuances that come out as this uh, uh, changes and grows on your skin. I didn't find like I completely, I didn't fall in love with it completely uh, for, for my personal taste, I mean, to buy a bottle for, for myself. If you want a natural quality sandalwood that has the best materials in, you're not going to get a whole lot better than that, uh, to be honest. Uh, for me, like I said, I 
didn't quite for I think um, the deer musk part of it is maybe a little bit I don't quite gravitate towards it as much um, maybe if it was mixed with something like white ambergris instead of the deer musk um, I might be more kind of keen to buy a bottle but for me I didn't completely fall in love with that for my own personal taste that's about as well as I can describe it for you uh, you will have to kind of blind buy that if you didn't manage to get a sample pack uh, all the samples are sold out as far as I'm aware um, so I, I try to give you the best kind of take I can on it uh, for you to make up your mind if you want to pull the trigger if you're a fan of Russian Adams work and you like sandalwood and musk then um, go ahead um, if you're not sure then maybe think about it it's they're expensive I don't encourage like dropping huge amounts on um, on blind buys if you're not sure you've got to be really comfortable with it and so uh, that would be my advice hope you enjoyed the video um, let me know your thoughts on it if you have tried the sample pack let other people know your opinions and you might help uh, people decide whether they want to buy a bottle or not that didn't manage to get a sample uh, I think people will pick up different things from it Perfumes that use really high quality naturals in uh, more than average, you know, amounts tend to uh, speak differently on different skins more than synthetic perfumes. They they have a lot of nuances, a lot of characters and skin chemistry and oils on the skin and even the climate you're in uh, will bring out different things on different people. And so your personal experience uh, might be a little bit different to mine based on the fact of how, how the naturals react on your individual skin. So if uh, whatever your experiences are, let people know in the description. Like I say, it will help uh, people that are, are keen to buy a bottle to get the, a full kind of picture of it from different perspectives. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon with some more. I will try to review some more of these this week before the release of the, the bottles on the website because uh, I know they'll probably sell out relatively quickly and so i'll try to get the the reviews up for you uh soon and i'll see you soon with another one take care everyone bye mm -hmm.